In 1904, the John Marion Mouse got an even bigger neighbor when the Minnesota State Capitol rose in marble splendor across the street. So after Miriam's death in 1905, his wife Helen offered the house to the state as a governor's mansion. But the state turned it down. And so the house stood vacant until 1927, when the St. Paul Institute took over the mansion and turned it into a museum of natural history. For the next 30 years, it was the destination for thousands of school children. And generations of St. Paul and Minneapolis school children uh, went into that building. And I always kind of like the idea of the museum being there because it seems to me you've got a, a great lesson in science and architecture at the same time. The Institute was later renamed the St. Paul Science Museum and later still became the Science Museum of Minnesota. But in 1959, the museum moved out and the old house, once spurned by the state of Minnesota, now fell into its hands. In 1964, the state demolished the mansion and replaced it with a rather dull but functional administration building. And so perished another irreplaceable piece of the Twin Cities historical fabric.